Hello and a very warm welcome to all. Today the topic of discussion is Google Classroom. So to start with the Google Classroom, the first and the foremost important thing is you will need to open obviously a Google account, your Google account. When you need to open, you open your Google account, you need to sign in. At the right side of the corner, first and foremost important thing is you need to sign in with your account. So what kind of account and another account suppose and suppose you have some other account and you want to or you want to create an account or whatever it is. You have to do or you have to give in your email, then you have to give a password and then sorry password and then you can sign in in your Google account. Once you have created a Google account, you can see there are nine dots at the right hand side corner of your screen. You click that right hand side corner, right? When you click at the right hand side corner, scroll down and you shall see there is an icon which is named as classroom. Click on that classroom. Once you click on that classroom, then you have this continue with whatever account you have. So the first thing is you the, this kind of screen appears on your uh, computer on your laptop and if you are using a mobile so you can directly download google classroom from your play store so there is a plus sign which says what do you want to do with your class do you want to join a class or do you want to create a class so suppose i click on the plus icon i shall have two options you want to join the class or you want to create the class right so i create a class suppose and there are certain options which come and suppose this is um, PBA with subject ethics and room you can provide or whatever it is you can provide as the um, and a class shall be created see they are creating a class now if you can see here there is a class code which appears here so when you have, once you have to join the class, so there were two options, either you have to create a class or you have to join the class. When you have to join the class, your respective teacher or your respective professor provides you with a Google class code. This is called the Google class code, right? So they give you this class code and then we can directly apply, you know, uh, sign in and we can join the class, right? Once you join the classes, once you join the class, then the next thing is there are there is stream where you can post in something suppose i write welcome suppose i write uh, welcome to the class right and i post it see here is the option which is add where i can add things from my google drive on from the link file youtube whatever you want suppose i want to add something say from the google drive so directly it goes to the google drive and the lots of files which one has made one has made an assignment or one has made whatever it is suppose, suppose there is an untitled presentation or syllabus or whatever it is list of participants this is an untitled presentation and you go for insert right so this is inserted you can you know directly share it with your students now if you're a student if you join a class so you, you shall get an intimation via your mail every time an assignment or a word or whatever has been uploaded on the class right so uh, it is upon the teacher who they want to address but normally it is to all the students and i go for a post so there are lots of things which can be done here now this is stream where everyone can post things Either if the you know the settings has been put on by the teacher, then you can go by the uh, the students can also post, or the students cannot post. That is a different thing. But then again, if normally the students can post, then this is a class work. In the class work, you shall create. This is because this is a teacher's forum. So you see, I can create a class assignment and questions and topics, whatever I want. But normally, whatever whatever, suppose you given an assignment, right? So what happens is you shall be given an assignment and the teacher shall give you a due date with the topic and it depends upon the teacher whether they provide you with marks or not and how to do their due grading, right? But whenever the uh, question paper or the assignment 
is uploaded right that's sign whenever it is uploaded you can see it automatically appears here assignment so when you go for vba this is class you get your assignment with that you posted a new assignment new assignment which is the assignment who are the people once people join in my class right so a lot of uh, bar comes here like whosoever have joined or whatever marks have been if i can show you the next if i can show you this is actual one of the classes suppose um, this i go for the assignment the google classroom so you see there is vba semester 3 right so this vba stream it shows the various things which which i have posted the syllabus i posted last work the class work i have not actually given much class work we just started it the various class work which shows to them people whosoever have attended your class or whosoever have been enrolled in your class are present here right in uh, with that you know uh, it is not just the students which are there you can also ask your colleagues your teachers other teachers to suppose two of you are sharing uh, one subject so you can put in your teachers and they can and the grades is for the grade that the particular student has right this classroom becomes very helpful you know specifically when um, uh, when we are stuck home we cannot be there and uh, every time you put in whatsapp the view of the I, one thing which i really dread is your your phone gets formatted once your phone gets formatted it becomes really difficult it has become really really difficult suppose i want to you know i want to share something i want, I want to say something uh, i want to add a suppose a uh, youtube or something you know if i want to suppose uh, i want to add i want to give them so whatever uh, search url suppose you have to search your use url all right then it's still processing finish processing and close so uh, this is the dashboard suppose i want i just created a video for the google drive so this is the video link select the copy the video link this is the semester 3 for all students of semester 3 i attach a youtube a youtube video and there you go paste the link or you can also search and you add there you go and you push put and enter so what happens is detailed explanation of the google drive here you go url no not the url this is this is the url i have and i have your search box find the videos here is the video and you press add and the entire video is selected and you can put in a message if you want kindly watch the entire video to update yourself with google drive you want your class to do that before you start in with your uh, work so that they know how to work on it and they know how to do so it is just that the, the way this assignments you've already made we have as lectures, lectures already have uh, lots of teaching stuff and etc et so, so you want, want to add something you you need to put in this is not just a google drive but whatever you want to put in you just add it and the entire the mail and once you post it the mail goes to all the students you being the student will get a mail that your teacher so and so has posted something on your bba on your class whatever the class name is you go and you open your if it is your mobile go to your classroom you can simply access this access it and if it is not your mobile it, you can simply uh, open your laptop or your desktop and you can access it and i hope i am clear to all um stay safe stay home not a good period right now but do try to keep yourself uh, at the competitive edge happy learning bye bye